Hello everybody and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's canine educator. Here's my girl, Silver. Thank you. Um, about 20 minutes ago, Silver didn't like me so much. Um, very fear-based, um, some sort of on-forward aggression. So not an aggressive in like a mean way, just I don't know what to do with you when you're in my house, so I'm gonna bark at you. So if you're dealing with threshold or entryway, guests coming over, barking, this series is gonna be for you. Um, she's a sweet, young cane corso or cane corso, however you wanna say it. And I'm just gonna show you guys how to start the process to build confidence in a dog dealing with fearful tendencies or reactivity to people they don't know. So the first thing I'm gonna do is she was barking at me in the house. Uh, again, very fear-based stuff, very just, she just doesn't know what to do. She's afraid of me because she doesn't know who I am. So it's exposure, it's confidence, all that stuff combined into one. And so the first thing I did is I just put her on a leash and I'm just bringing her for a walk. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the process of how I develop engagement and how I develop trust in a dog at a very, hopefully, quick pace. I'm gonna put my phone down on the side of the road and I'm gonna work her on leash pressure. So I'm gonna show you guys my process on just getting the dog to understand that I'm the gatekeeper of everything that they want and then ultimately that'll provide confidence in the dog, letting them know that like, hey, you don't have to make these decisions when people come over. Um, it's not your job, it's not your chore. Uh, and that'll, that'll alleviate a lot of the the insecurities and the stress that they may feel like they have to do because they think it's their job. So, here we go. So we're doing pretty good. And as you guys can see, what's happening here is when I go the other way, she doesn't she doesn't buck and she doesn't, you know, like, oh, argue with me on the leash. So what this is doing is it's creating a very balanced relationship between her and I. So right now, I don't have the leash. She's just chilling here with me. So I'm creating a relationship. So relationship first, training second. I'm not gonna tell a dog what they can and can't do if we don't have a good relationship. So I'm just going out for a beautiful walk and I'm just telling her like, hey, we're gonna go this way, now we're gonna go this way, now we're gonna go this way. And so I want you guys to watch that process really quick on this angle. Come on, sweetie. Good. So I take her out this way. Come. Good girl. Good. So when I turn, good girl. Good. Silver, come. Yes. That's a good girl. So really good work there. So what I'm doing is I'm just going back and forth and I'm demonstrating leadership through the leash. Very simply, I'm going one way, I'm turning the other direction, going the other way, I'm turning the other direction. So what this does is it demands engagement from the dog. So what she's doing and what I'm doing together as a, as a team is I'm just going back and forth working on directional changes just to teach her that she has to be engaged with me. Um, normally when she's out, um, and the other thing I should mention is she's very fearful of men. So the main issue she has with the people coming into the house is primarily with men. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a balanced, structured, healthy relationship between her and I, obviously I'm a guy, so it's really gonna help her in the future to just trust. So we're almost done with our walk, um, but one more thing I wanna try to get on film is I want you guys to focus on the engagement I get from her. 
if she's looking at me and she's following my pressure and she's following my direction without without any leash pressure, which means very little amount of pressure do I want to apply on her to get her to comply to go in my direction. Um, the micro is, is she's learning how to walk on a leash better. The macro, or the bigger picture, is the fact that she's developing a lot more confidence as a puppy, a lot more confidence in men, um, because that's mainly the big issue. She just doesn't like men, uh, especially men she doesn't know. So she's doing really, really, really well. And I'm gonna continue to do this really quick, uh, back and forth. And I want you guys to just focus on the engagement I'm trying to capture with her. So again, looking at me, uh, minimal leash pressure when I do directional changes. So I'm gonna put the camera down. I want you guys to watch how I do this and hopefully it works out good. And then we're gonna give her a break. We're gonna bring her back give her some fresh water, and hit it again later this afternoon. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Good girl, sweetheart. Very good girl. So we got a kiss at the end, that's good. That was beautiful. So as you guys can see, I had zero to do with the pressure um, and her directional changes. She just followed me, she made the decision to. It's exactly what we're working on. Building confidence to get her to work with somebody she doesn't really know, especially a man. Um, just to let her know like, hey, you need to start taking direction because it's not your job to handle door security. Uh, and it's also, men are okay. And we're gonna, we're gonna allow you to be a more confident, happier dog moving forward. So she's doing really good for her first session. Uh, we're gonna hit it back later again this afternoon.